Hey folks, Dave here, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance, where I am neck deep in the quest Hair Hunt, where I am trying to track down a group of poachers terrorizing the huntsmen in charge of the uh, Talmberg Castle area and the forest surrounding it. There's a ton of unnecessary poaching going on, and after a bunch of investigation in part one, I've come to believe that it might involve the previous huntsmen for the castle who might be out for revenge, and he might have returned to make a fool of the current Huntsman. There's a lot going on, so if you guys want to be fully caught up, make sure you watch all of part one. For now, let's keep going with the investigation at this inn, which is rumored to be serving poached meat. That is a low amount of comfort for that bed, which makes sense. Did I not put out my torch before I slept? That does not seem safe. What? Why is everyone crashing in the barn? <laughs> you like me? Too cheap or too late to get a room? I'm gonna eat all my watermelon here before it goes bad. Breakfast of watermelon, bread, and pancakes. <laughs> We're literally sleeping in a pigsty. It's a good sized inn though. Ooh, I like how that forest road looks through that doorway right there. Looks like that just leads to adventure. Although in our case, it leads back to town. Come on guys, it's like 7 a.m. I'll be with you, Henry. Villager, alehouse maid. Where is the proprietor of this establishment? Andrew. You look important. Good health to you. Listen, innkeeper. I hear you have some game here from time to time. Aye. We have dice games happening most nights. <laughs> You'd make a stuffed bird laugh. You know full well what I mean. No, I've no idea what you're talking about. I uh, can't use strength. Oh, come now, let's not lie to each other. I know very well you sell poached game here. Oh, you do? Do you? And how's that? I've seen a bit of the world. I know how things go. Even so, I don't rightly understand what you're on about. Success. I heard there are poachers in the area, and I'd like to join them. Ah, you should have said right away you're in the trade. But before I tell you anything, I'll have to put you to the test. You know, I can't send every Tom, Dick, and Harry to my friends. Fair enough. What do you want me to do? At the stud farm near here, there's a stable hand by the name of Jakob. Bastard got lucky at dice and won my favorite tankard off me. And what's that got to do with me? If you'd stop interrupting, you might find out. Anyway, he's so full of himself, he doesn't want to give it back. Not even for money. But he's very fond of archery. And I don't need to add he likes to make bets. I'm with you. If I can win your tanker back and bring it to you, you'll know that I... That you're not completely useless. That's right. So, get going. I'm thirsty, and I'll always taste it better out of my trusty old tanker. What training do you offer? Axe? Well, that's interesting. I'd like to learn to fight better with an axe. Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Yeah, that's fine. Now, pay close attention. Okay. So we're off to the stud farm, it looks like. Whoa. 
Excuse me, sir. It's not too far of a ride. I might just take Roach once again instead of fast traveling. So it looks like we can infiltrate the poaching gang and see what's going on. Let's start by getting that tanker back. Let's go win ourselves an archery contest. Hopefully. I'm starting to wonder, I've got so much money saved up, if I can start bypassing some of these contests by just paying people off. Not sure if that's very Robin Hood-like of me. Steal from the rich, keep it for myself, use it to be lazy, is that how it goes? <laughs> but it'd be cool if I could find a quest that allowed that. Okay, yeah, it's from Jacob. I've met him before in the main quest. Let's leave Roach there. Let's see what Jacob's up to. That's Ginger. Okay, looks like he's up and going for water. God save you. I hear you want a tankard off Andrew the innkeeper. I did. Look who's on my side. What's it to you? I could threaten him, but he's got a pretty high strength rating. I always did like that tankard. How'd you fancy testing that luck of yours and betting your tankard against my coin? What do you have in mind? I've heard it said you're the best archer in the region, but I'm not so sure. Care to put it to the test? Maybe not the best. But I reckon I could beat you any day. Very well. I'll bet the tank it against your groschen. Deal? Strong words. Fifteen groschen? Fine. Of course. Do it. It's nothing. Follow me, nothing to me. <laughs> and we're off. That was a little bit high. Oh, that's not my target. That's part of the problem. <laughs> not sure if I like how these arrows are flying. That's not a great start. He's probably going to finish before me, too. Might have to go for score. Yeah, he's going to finish first, so he'll get the finish first bonus. So I'm just going to try to get as many into the black as I can here. There we go. Right into the center. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Bad start. Damn, you're better than I expected. That last shot was beautiful. That was right into the center. What was that? Five points? It's a nice little archery range back here. Make sure I have my correct arrows selected again. Yeah. Better long distance arrows. I just like how these fly. Yeah, that's more like it. A little bit flatter shooting. Let's 
you guys. I'm not totally incompetent. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to go ahead and fast travel back to the inn. Turn victorious. I brought you back your tankard. Ah, so you're not completely useless. Lukesh will be happy to see what handy people I'm sending you. I suppose this Lukesh is your poacher friend. Now then, poacher's not a very nice word. I'll call him more... A man who knows a good opportunity when he sees one. I see. And where can I find this opportunistic friend of yours? He lives on the hill to the north of the castle, in a small hut. If you're planning to talk to him, make sure you tell him I sent him. I won't forget. Thanks. I'm the one who should thank you. I'm looking forward to putting my lips to the old love of mine. That's super weird. Oh wow, what a view of the countryside. Awesome. Okay, we're way off track here. We have two quests going at the same time now. Sheep in Wolf's Clothing, which is the infiltration of the poaching group, and Hare Hunt. Aha. So that's going to be up here at Talmberg. We might be on the right track, guys. Let's go ahead and fast travel. Looks like Bennett's fighting Kumin. No, Bennett's fighting guards. Oh, yeah. That was an awesome shot. What's I will going on there? take your money there and your armorer's kit. Beyond that, I'm just not going to get involved. Okay, so it's Kumin, bandits, and you guys are local guard, right? Okay. I'm tempted to keep looting, but I feel like they're going to yell at me. What sword is that, though? Oh, just the mercenary's bedfellow. I love my Robin Hood shadow. <laughs> That's a pretty cool screenshot right there. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to continue on foot. I'll leave the guards to it. Even though I helped. They are kind of outnumbered, but they'll probably be fine. I think the Kumin are tied up at least. Wait. Am I going backwards? No, I'm going backwards. We're back in town now. Just gotta head up the hill to the northwest of the castle meet with our poacher friend and is there actually a road that goes up there or do I just go up the hill there's kind of a path there we go hey I guess pretty yeah! well Got a dog. Do I have any meat that I can drop? Nope. Guess he's inside. Go 
God be with you, good sir. Andrew the innkeeper sent me. Said you had a job for someone who's good with a bow. Did he now? That's all very well, but I don't know if you're a man I can trust. So how can I prove it to you? For a start, you can tell me why a lad like you wants to join us. This guy is not trustworthy. I've heard it could earn me some decent coin. Yeah, that's what I used to think. Only it's not quite that simple. Why's that? You'll find out for yourself. Anyway, I have to check you out first. See if you're any good. I'm listening. To begin with, I need to know if you're at home in the woods. And if you're any kind of hunter. Bring me some deer antlers, and then we'll talk. Easy. What kind of training does he offer? I hear you're able... Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it will cost you. We're going to haggle for that. Isn't that quite a lot? Since it's you. <laughs> Since it's you. I just more. met you. Uh, 150. Agreed. Now, 145. Ooh. You lock picking perk point. For that, though, God! let's go hunting. I was thinking I could probably go down to the shop. Uh, either the butcher or somewhere like that and just buy deer antlers, but I was just talking earlier about it'd be cool to use my money to buy my way out of some work. But this could be fun, so let's see if we can find ourselves a deer. And if we don't have any luck, we'll buy some antlers. And here we go. Deer. Full size deer. Couldn't tell if that hit or not. There we go, that was a hit. Take down two for good measure. These are all does. Duh. This is where poaching really starts to be extra harmful. I'm killing animals that I don't really need to. Even if I accident. Speaking of accident, you discovered accident. Is that a wagon wreck it looks like? Is this an ambush? Cumin and guards. There's a headshot. Nice, right in the hip. Am I Robin Hood now? Look what's coming crawling out. Roach. Where do you go? Nice hit there. Gentlemen, definitely not poaching. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, it's just more dough out here. 
that was some pretty awesome archery, if I do say so myself. Just gonna see if I can use their campfire to cook my meat, but the guards are right behind me. I probably shouldn't. Alright guys, if I can't find a deer overnight, I think I'm gonna go ahead and maybe travel south and try and buy a pair of antlers and buy my way out of this predicament. Well, it looks like even staying all night in a hunting stand in the woods was not enough. I'm gonna go down here to Ratai and I'm gonna meet with the huntsman God be with you. whose hat has reappeared, it looks like. Do I still have mine? I do. That's good. Let's see if he's selling any antlers. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. And he's got antlers. As you guys can see, I also swapped my armor over to my stealthier stuff uh, for the possibility of sneaking up on these poachers in the woods. I'll take off my noisier bits once I'm done traveling on the road. It's got a green hood too, but it's green and yellow. Objective completed, get deer antlers. I can't believe I wasted literally an hour of my own time running around the woods trying to find a buck to kill. Oh, I can't really complain too much. The woods are awesome. I definitely explored a bunch of creeks while I was trying to find my deer. But I guess it's time to make a trip to the bathhouses because my energy is low. A good hot bath and... Some nice clean armor, should get it back up to 100, and then north we go, once again, to turn in our ill-gotten antlers. Can't go on. What is this? I can't go on. Can Sir Henry here help a poor beggar, possibly? What happened to you? The farmer threw me out with my little girl, a bastard. He fathered it himself, and then got rid of us so his wife wouldn't scratch his eyes out. And I'm left with nothing but to beg here at the roadside. God have mercy on me. I'd like to bring the children something better to eat than acorns. Haven't you got something for me, sir? Don't you want to go to Ratai? There are other refugees there. Someone would take care of you. They drove me out. Ah, I didn't know. Sorry. Wouldn't you have a little bit of food for me, sir? Even a crust of stale bread? I haven't eaten for days. I think I've got some food, but five groschen is probably more useful. Of course. Here you are. Thank you, sir. Thank you a hundredfold. Look at that, guys. A little bit of Robin Hood action after all. I finally feel kind of good about myself, despite executing just about every poor peasant bandit that ambushes me in the woods without mercy. Hey, I helped out a woman with her kids. Ah! I mean, she could have been lying to me, and she's going to go get some ale, but... Not my problem. Robin Hood act complete. Back north we go. We're finally up at Talmberg again. Ready to drop off those antlers. I'm gonna laugh if he calls me out on where I got them from. But I've been gone for like a day and a half, so that's plausible. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. 
I was beginning to worry you'd got lost in the forest. Just a bit. Yeah, no need to worry. I would have come back sooner, but it seemed a long way to go for just the one. Well, well, so you're keen on hunting. I like that, lad. So give me the trophy, and the first task of your trial is done. The first task? Well, there was only one to begin with. But then I thought you could do something else for us. I see. So what do you want me to do next? Kill a dragon? Catch a water sprite? Hilarious. Better listen up, lad. Nicholas the Huntsman has a very fine old hunting horn. But we'd like Nicholas better without any horns. Understand? Wait. What's all this about? Nothing to worry yourself with now. Get the horn, and we'll have a bit of fun. All right. So where is this horn? Sometimes he carries it with him. It is a badge of office, after all. But I don't suppose he sleeps with it. Best to go at night and have a look around his lodge. It's on the hill above the village, opposite the castle. Come back to me as soon as you've got the horn. I can't wait to see the look on Nicholas's face. Right. I'll get to it. Glad to hear it. Good luck. These contacts seem to hate the Huntsman so much, I think they must be connected to the hare. I think what I'm going to do next, instead of trying to steal this horn, I'm going to go talk to Margaret. But if you guys remember from episode one, it was the Huntsman's wife. Because several of the gossips in town said that she had actually talked with her former lover, who was also the former huntsman here at Talmberg. Yeah. And it's not clear yeah. what exactly was said or how that former huntsman might be involved in the current poaching, but she had told me when I talked to her that she hadn't seen that former huntsman whose nickname is the Hare. She hadn't seen him in, well, since he left town. And it seems pretty clear now that that is not the truth. So before I go stealing horns and getting stuck in backyards here, let's confront her on that lie and see if she knows where this Hare person might be. Ooh. I just did like a power slide off the path here. Almost right in the creek. God! Probably running a little bit too fast up this narrow path. <laughs> Gonna slide off another edge here. All these antlers I could have possibly used. I didn't even think. <laughs> Does Nicholas actually have I'm deer antlers? A knight such as you takes an interest in me. That would have saved me a trip all the way down south. Oh, I can betray Black Lubosh. He did not have any antlers. Before I turn in Black Lubosh for his poaching gang, where is his wife? It says Margaret's over here. Oh, she must be inside. Hello? Hello? Henry's come to see us! <laughs> oh, awkward. <laughs> nope, nothing unusual here, just <laughs> staring at your wife through the window of your house. Now I'm stuck in your rain barrel. we just wait for a bit, I think Margaret goes into town in the evenings, so we can talk to her then. 
We'll just ride down and see if she's not just cooped up in the house anymore. Yeah. I'm really starting to feel like these poaching groups are connected. Yep, she went for water, it looks like. I'd like to ask you about Hannikin Hare. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to talk about that. That'll do me. Can I call her on the lie? I'd like to ask you about Hannikin Hare. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to talk about that. That'll do me. Henry, you're too polite. I might go ahead and steal the horn and see if that gets me on the inside circle of this poaching gang. Because there may be more going on here than meets the eye. I'm still not completely uh, convinced that this huntsman is 100% on the up and up here. They say that his horn is probably on him. I wonder if I put on my best stealth armor and wait until nighttime, if I can find the horn locked up somewhere at night. Does this man never sleep? My noise is down to seven now. And I move even more quietly in the rain. I see a chest in there. No one's inside the main room. The doors aren't locked. I'm gonna leave all the doors open for a quick escape here. Oh, it's very difficult. No. Hmm. Well, hopefully it's not that great. I do have a night vision potion, I think. So I really don't want to use my torch. It's so dark in here. Oh, I went up some stairs. I couldn't even see what was going on. Another very hard lockpick. Ow, my eyes. <laughs> okay. Okay wanted a quick peek so that's a very hard lock pick I wonder does he actually sleep with it let's just knock him out trunk key door key. Hopefully his wife won't wake up. You've got to find this horn before he wakes up. He is going to be pissed. Wait, there's a second chest here. Uh, it was in the easy chest. How 
How did I miss that? I thought it was a bench. It didn't look like the other chest. Whoa, that hurts with the night vision potion going. See if this gets us on the inner circle. Well, let's not forget, now that we're not sneaking around, we've got to have our torch out, otherwise we get fined or arrested by the guards. The idea being that if you're out and about at night with no torch, you must be up to no good. Which I guess in my case is 100% accurate Wake up. God be with you. I have that horn for you. Huh? I'm looking forward to seeing the smile wiped off Nicholas's face when he finds out. As for you, the old man says you're in. Last time you told me that if I brought the horn, you'd finally tell me what's going on. Let's put it this way. Our old man's had it in for Master Huntsman Nicholas for years. Where did my, uh... Where did my shoulders go? Why does he have it in for him? There's more than one reason, but the heart of it is Nicholas lied under oath and almost got him hanged. That's a fair enough reason. You're telling me. It wouldn't by any chance be that Hannikin hair I was talking about, would it? Hear ye, hear ye. The lad is smarter than he looks. It is him, as it happens. What have you been hearing about him? They said he killed some man at arms and fled. Who keeps spreading those lies? Some folk haven't the sense they were born with. Anyway, if you want to know the details, ask him yourself. So that's what I was starting to wonder. The two poaching groups we've been tracking are connected, but also the Huntsman has not been entirely truthful, it What's sounds like. What's the time to Do you want to know? Ask around the village what they think of the Master Huntsman. The old man is making a bigger and bigger fool of him day by day. Soon enough, the gossip will reach the ears of Sir Divish himself. And that's just what the old man wants. So, what comes next? We're just getting something big ready. We'll make camp in the north of Broder Woods. There's a concealed glade, and that's where you'll find us. All right, I'll meet you there. Ah, so I can report him to the captain. So here's my options, guys. I can report them to Captain Rubbard at Talmberg. Or I can go meet with him myself. Are my shoulders back? Okay, yeah, my cloak was not showing up in the cutscene. That was freaking me out. I'm going to put some of my armor back on as well as my hat. While the storm's going, I'm going to go ahead and sneak up on their camp. Maybe I'll get some intel. Ow, my eyes. That lightning. Oh, man. Uh, maybe I'll get some intel before I talk to the captain. Because, again, I'm not really trusting this huntsman at all. On the other hand, a bunch of poachers who 100% have been poaching, even if it is to embarrass the huntsman, they might not be entirely trustworthy either, nor trustworthy at all.
Ooh, the rain's clearing up. Dang it. I was really hoping to get nearby first. Wait, what time is it? Okay, it's been morning. Oh, my night vision potion is still in effect. I was wondering why it was getting so light already. <laughs> Just Henry and his elf eyes here. And I see a fire. the new fellow. Mm -hmm. you said you know if they were to. Mm -hmm. The question is, can we trust you? Would I be here if you didn't? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Mm -hmm. Did Lucas tell you he's in charge? Well, speaking of that, starting to worry you weren't coming. It couldn't be helped, Godhead. I had to get a document written up, and the nearest priest I can trust is in Yanowitz. You're writing your will already, sir. <laughs> Who is this? Henry. New catch Godhead. He nicked Nicholas's hunting horn for us. <laughs> then I'm sure we'll get on like a house on fire. Everyone here? Everyone. Is it that fool Radha on the charcoal burner? No one's seen hide nor hair of him. We can't delay. If he's not back by evening, we go without him. So, Henry, tell me about yourself. Why you came here? Where you come from? You know how it goes. I want to know your story. Looks like a hubbub. Everyone has a story. These ways, everyone in this clearing does. Sir! Sir! Humbug is a coming! All I could think, guys, was this guy's got a green hood that I want. Anakin Hare, Zalush, I arrest you in the name of Lord Divish of Talmberg. The Master Huntsman is not coming? The Master Huntsman arrests poachers, not murderers. Will you come quietly? What do you say, man? <laughs> I'm not going to fight the guards. Henry? What the answer you to my here? prayer is just what I wanted. You made your choice, Hare. Time to pay for your crimes. Got weak in the knees, have you? Can I take my potion to see at night? Take that. Dumpsy deity. There's one down. Ow. Who's this guy? 
That's two down. Where's the hair? There you are. I want your hood and your hat. Goodbye, hair. Look at Hannikin here's hand. Hair's ring. Let's take it all for now. And he even has the green hat that I had to steal from someone who was completely innocent because I couldn't find it in the shops anywhere. So he had Nicholas's testimony on him. A testimony of Nicholas Angel about the crimes he did against Hannick and Hare. I have his signet ring. He also has a knight's hunting sword. I'll take that. Anything useful here in camp? This is a good sized camp. Let's see what's inside the chest. Rage potion and some goblets. Any other crates in camp? I don't think so. Let's ride back to Talmberg. Let's go ahead and head back to town and see what the Huntsman has to say about all of this. Hopefully he won't remember the whole, you know, choking him out in the middle of the night thing. Let's see if the Huntsman has some answers for us. Not hair. And where is it? I laughed her and lying down in the forest. Are you saying you killed him? You would have gone to the gallows anyhow. You may be right. But criminals should be dealt with in public. But I can't be sure it was really hair, unless you have some proof. Uh, he had an heirloom, a signet ring. That would prove it. I have it here. It's his all right. Hard to believe the legendary Hanukkah hair is gone to his maker. Anyway, I do know how to show my gratitude. Here's your reward, and stop by any time you need to. You'll always find work here. Thanks. Well, guys, I guess that's just the way it goes sometimes. There's a chance that perhaps the Hare was innocent of the original charges that had run him out of town, but now we'll never know. In Kingdom Come Deliverance, I've been sticking to my decisions and kind of rolling with the punches, and I think it makes for a more interesting experience. Uh, but I will say that having completed this quest, God I did a bit of googling, and there is a whole different branch involving Hannik and Hare that can be completed. It's not exactly the good branch, if you will. Uh, this is a, a rough quest, morality-wise. Both of the branches have some low points, but I just couldn't bring myself to fight the Talonberg guards in the defense of 
uh, poachers, no matter what their full story might be. So for now, the Huntsman still has his job, he still has his wife, and I'm left with a small reward and uh, some moral ambiguity, I guess, about what I accomplished here in the forests of Kingdom Come Deliverance. For now, though, that is the end of the quest. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you want to try out the game for yourself, see if you can get the alternate ending and tell me which one you prefer. For now, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.